In this video, I'll show you how I rewrapped a transformer to put out over 500 amps. Just look at what the current does to this wood screw. So first of all, I'm going to explain how a transformer works. You have something called your transformer core. And then you have a primary winding, some kind of wire that wraps around. And on this side, we have 120 volts AC. So let's say that's 120 volts at 10 amps, which means it's 1,200 volt amps. Now, we have a secondary winding. And the ratio of turns from the primary to the secondary determines what kind of voltage comes out the other end. So let's say this was 120 windings. and we just put a single winding around the other side. Right. That's one. You'll get one volt at 1200 amps. This is because the power ratio stays the same, but the voltage changes due to the ratio of the wraps. Now, the reason this works is this coil induces a charge in the other coil by magnetic flux, which goes through the transformer coil. So if we rewrap a transformer and reduce the number of wraps in the secondary winding, we can get a huge current, which is possible to melt things, and that's how a spot welder works, at only one volt, which means it's very safe to handle because you can't electrocute yourself. If you want more information, check out Wikipedia. I found the transformer in some industrial garbage and decided to rewrap it. After identifying the secondary windings, I removed them. I didn't film it because one, it took forever, and two, I swore a lot. I must have removed at least five pounds of thick copper wire. Next, I wired up the primary winding and put in a temporary secondary winding at two wraps to see what kind of voltage would come out. Two point seven volts. Interesting. Now hypothetically this is a one thousand volt amp transformer. Two point seven. Which means we're getting around four hundred amps right now. Or we, we could if we were welding. So I'm not sure if I want to use one wrap or two. We'll see. I removed one wrap and tried again. One volt. Listen to that baby hum. So I think I'll go with one and a half wraps. That should give me about two volts, which hypothetically should give me about f 500 amps. Let's just replace that secondary winding now with a more beefier welding cable. Let's give it a shot. Let's see how it does against the fork. Not a chance. How about a chain? Molten metal. And the beauty is, since it's only two volts, you can't electrocute yourself. Unless, of course, I'm lying and that's not my finger on the right contact. Still gets hot though. Piece of tinfoil. Molten aluminum. Very nice white sparks. How about a solid machine bolt? This might take a bit longer to heat up though.
for my final trick. How about a hot dog? That's a hot dog. Burnt to a crisp, just the way I like it. In my next video, I'll show you how to rewrap a transformer from a scrap microwave. Then you can make your own spot welder. Don't forget to subscribe.